Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, hi, you guys. Hi. Um, yeah, it's good to be online again today. It's been two Hello, days. guys. Um, thank you for joining me again today. Uh, uh, hi, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Dillis. And, um, so my crazy self i forget everything i always have to see in Hi every guys. video welcome to another episode of coffee with dillis in my last video i told you all about this um that i'll be talking about producers that try to sleep with um female actors before they give them roles in movies so today that's exactly what i'm going to be talking about um i've been dragging this for too long because i've been trying to get receipts from both of the directors that have been accused but the second person has really been difficult getting the the receipts that i wanted but the first person everything is confirmed i spoke with um someone that gave me really reliable information so of course i'm not bringing you any fake gist right here anything i tell you on this channel you know exactly that it, it is true so don't go away just stay tuned i'll be bringing that just right back Again. okay so now you guys know um you've seen the videos you've seen pictures of her work um she she's located in bamenda she's doing an amazing job um she she she's very extremely reliable i must say because i i she does most of my things too she's very reliable if you tell her okay look this is it um lady i want my clothes or i want my my my, my stuff in a couple of days just give her time tell her exactly when you need it make the money that she wants available maybe it's part of the money make it available and you get your stuff she also delivers nationwide she's very very reliable people perfect finishing exactly what you want to see like you will hardly believe that they are their clothes made made in bamenda or made in Cameroon she has she she has good tellers around that she works with so don't get scared that your clothes she'll, she'll take your work and not deliver on time no she doesn't do that bullshit she's amazing she's credible and she's exactly she's extremely reliable please so you can always 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 work with her I'm gonna leave her contact information in the description box below so you can all check on her or I might as well put it on the screen you can get her not her phone number call her talk to her I'll put up her social media um, handles on so that you can as well check some of her work that she's done and get to talk with her and know her one-on-one -on -one before you get uh, in contact with her she also does last large scale production uh, i remember she did um a uniform for a certain school in bamenda yeah did the uh, um, sacred last year i think bamenda chapter when they were doing their um anniversary something she had to do all of the clothes that the women of the Bamenda chapter wore she, she's really good she can do large scale she can do small scale you know you want t-shirts for your your event your anniversary your wedding whatever it is a funeral she can do all of that so she's really really reliable trust me she can do that so um without bothering you guys too much about this advert and her doing a good job i might as well just go straight into this okay so you guys this is what these people do these producers do i mean i i appreciate what they are doing all of them whether the big ones the popular the popular ones the 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 small ones the ones that are still coming up i appreciate all of you for the work you're doing trying to put cameroon on the map in terms of movie production and all of that it's amazing you all are wonderful i mean looking back at when all of this started i can't just believe that we are already here we are not good good but we are in a better place is now and i think that the best is yet to come i appreciate you all for the good work you're doing i'm not even going to take that away from you um but my problem is why on earth would you want to sleep with somebody before you give them a role why would you want to make someone put something down before you can give them something in return let that person's talent speak for them 
let her talent speak for her you don't need to get into her pants or between her legs before you 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 give her something if you audition her if she's not good let her go if you audition her she's good give her the role give her a chance to show you that she can do this give her a chance to show you that this is this is her passion this is what she wants to do i mean it's so it's so terrible because the way you all go about it i mean what they do is when they they they, they tell you okay i'm going to give you this role. i have this movie that is coming up you already know that they are the boss you know it's their movie it's their production that they want doing all of the stuff so you already know as the lady you already know that um yeah he's the boss he he definitely is running things on this set and everything so when he calls you and tells you, oh, you know, I have this movie that is coming up. I'm definitely going to give you a major role. I'm going to make you the lead actress or the supporting uh, lead actress or whatever. And um, and then when you go back, oh, he, oh, what they do is, oh, my goodness. Wait, let me let me just break down the gist. I don't even want to, to be narrating all these things. Let me break down the gist. So this is what happened. This movie producer, um, this lady wanted to, to be in his movie. So definitely the whole audition thing and everything everything went well and then the guy was like oh you know i i really want to give you this role i think that you're the right person for the, the movie role i think that you it fits the role is going to fit you you're really going to do an amazing job if you have to take this role and all of that and they were talking you know the lady was talking to her to him like oh okay yeah this is going to be my director or my my producer um in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months they were all just talking you know just trying to have a normal relationship or producer and an actress relationship and then before she knew it the guy started hitting on her like asking her out you know and that's what they do they don't make you look like they're trying to make you sleep sleep with them you know what i mean like they don't make you look like you, you they want to sleep with you they'll be asking you out they'll be like oh you know i really like you uh you know you're really an amazing person for some reason uh you're you're uh, I, I mean when i saw you when you came on on, on set or for audition or i mean I, I couldn't take my mind away from you you know all of that bullshit that men say and oh um if i met you before meeting my wife um i would not marry her oh, I, my god let me drink water you people can be so annoying sometimes so this guy kept on talking to this girl moving on with the gist i mean kept on talking to this girl asking her out or oh, telling her you know that I, I really i'm really into you and all of that let's have a relationship he wasn't asking her out because he really really liked her he was asking her out because he had told her that he was going to give her a movie role in his new in his upcoming movie so i, I i'm trying i'm trying to understand something this guy is in the movie industry or in the movie scene i mean the whole you know the whole boy has set up are you trying to say that you've never ever seen her you've never ever tried to talk to her or you've never ever let's assume that you really like her like her like you say you you like why would you have to wait only when you you have a movie role to give her and then you promise her that you're going to give her the movie role and then just after that you start telling her that you like her and you like you both to get down low and dirty why would you do that to think that you're a married man that's what is just so annoying when you do stuff like that, how is your wife? And, oh, you guys, his wife saw the messages between himself and this young lady. Yes, his wife saw the messages. And the funny thing is, when his wife saw these messages, he, she took the girl's number and called her. Started bashing her, telling her bullshit. Like, oh, stay away from my man. This is my husband. You all, young lady, should go and get your own husband and everything. Excuse me, young lady. Excuse me, ma'am. With all due respect, I'm very sure you saw the text messages or she saw, she saw the text messages and she knows exactly what was going on. So why would you call this young lady to tell her to, to stay away from you? How about you talk to your husband to stay away from these young ladies? Because if this other young lady stays away from him like you want her to, I hope you know that your husband will still meet another actress out there. And he will start hitting on her, just like he was hitting on this other one that you threatened. So how many girls do you want to threaten before the year comes to an end? Most times, it's not about the girls that your husband is flirting with. It's about your husband. You might succeed to scare this girl, this girl away, but you might you 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 can't stop your husband for for or you can't you can stop him from going about or chasing those girls. So it's not about it's not about those girls. Let the girls be. Concentrate. Oh my God! It started snowing again. 
sorry about the distraction concentrate on your husband you have to let him stop stop making these girls um the bad people it's your husband because most times these girls will not go out of their way to try to to let me say 70 percent of the time they will not go out to try to seduce your husband or seduce men men will always come to ladies that's the issue so we women we need to know how to pick our battles we need to know who we want to fight we need to know that this other woman or this other lady is not the issue your husband is the issue because once you once this lady lets go of your husband your, your husband is definitely going to look for another woman to start whatever he's doing with so moving on this lady saw the text messages her husband was sharing with this other girl with the actress and uh, it was obvious that this actress was denying everything like oh i don't I, I know you're a married man i don't need to sleep with you before i get a movie role and everything but he was so into you know he really wanted it and when it did not work guess what the movie role that he had promised her she did not get it because it did not work yes now who does that what happened to talent what happened to talent what happened to your own dignity as a married man? What happened to the promises you made to your wife? Whether you got married in church, I don't know. What happened to the promise before God and man? Because of a movie role, how much do you all pay those actresses and actors that go out of the way to things they do? How much? So she has to sleep with you? She has to buy a costume for that movie. She has to take care of herself. Maybe most of the things that you all do is cater, cater to them. I appreciate all of that. And then she still has to sleep with you. Just so that she can become an actress and become popular. Some people will say, oh, that's what happened in the Nigerian movie industry. Why are we supposed to copy wrong things? As much as we want to grow, let's leave the wrong things out of this. It's not right. It's so not right. I'm, I'm, I'm begging on you all to stop this. It's not right. You don't need to make people to give you something in order to get something in return, especially when it comes to dignity. I don't think that's the right thing to do. You don't have to sleep with somebody before you give her a movie role. And to the ladies out there, the actresses out there, models, whatever you're doing out there in the movie industry, let people not tell you that, oh, you know, we have to get down low and, and you know, um, before I'm going to give you um, a chance to be in my movie or before I'm going to give you a chance to hit my room or before I'm going to give you a chance to be whatever. Tell them no. That bullshit has to stop. Tell them no. You're not going to do it. If they don't want to give you, let it be. Tell them no. If you all stand up and say no, definitely they will not be able to produce any movies. And they will definitely come back to you people because all of that will stop so that they can get people to do their movies. So I need you all to stand up for yourselves and stand against this sexual harassment in the industry. If you can't do it for yourself, nobody will do it for you. I might come here and talk and talk and talk and talk, but if you cannot stand up for yourself, that's it. I might call the names of the people doing it, do whatever, expose them how much I want. I might not necessarily stop them immediately. But if you can stop it, if you can rise above this nonsense, then it's going to help. It's going to help you. It's going to help even the next generation of people that are coming up. We need to make this clear and straight. If we have to do something, we have to do it right. We have to make it right. This bullshit really has to stop. We have to make it right. So, you guys, that's it. That's the gist I have for you today. And um, you know that before the end of every video, I try to do a shout out to some really um, important people. So, right after this, there's going to be a shout out to someone really important. So, don't go. He messages the inside while WhatsApp chats. Then, ha, a woman go take my number.
Call me, threaten me, tell me how I'm a bitch, I'm this, I'm that. I'm like, seriously? Why don't you ask your husband why he's picking at me? Like, I'm not dating your guy. So if you have any problem with anybody, go ahead and ask your man, not me. Man. The guy went cold. How we notice I say woman call me no? He went silent like never before. Now just small. The only thing I just need to do...